What's up guys, uh, got another drone uh, in today. This is actually my dad's drone. We just picked it up for him. Uh, so check this thing out. All right guys, this is it. This is the Sky Viper. Um, it seems pretty cool. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. It's uh, one of the more expensive, uh, probably cheaper options you can get, but it seems to do all right. Uh, so we're gonna check it out today. All right guys, so here it is. Um, just opened up the box and, and this is it right here um, pretty neat uh, you can see uh, it's got the, the green propellers here black ones it also comes with an extra set of propellers and uses a little tiny Phillips head screwdriver to put these on um, very very simple you've got your instructions in here it's a little different to fly especially you know going from the Phantom to this um, it's it's different. You got you got to work your trim settings like that. There's no GPS here, um, so that is a little little different for me. I've got to be a better flyer. Uh, you don't really have to be a very good flyer with the, the Phantom, um, but with these you actually have to fly these. Luckily it's very lightweight. There's no FF or FAA sorry registration required. Um, and then the charger is just this uh, USB charger here. So. It's all, all very simple. You don't have anything crazy you gotta use, just the USB charger. Uh, but this is it. And this is the controller here with the uh, iPhone or, or smartphone clip on it. Um, and you pull the, the, the setting all the way down for the throttle on this one also. Um, you've got your trim up and down on your altitude, changing the altitude, trim forward and back, left and right. And you kind of got to get it to the spot where it's not just drifting all over the place. When I first started it up, uh, it just flew over and just started going crazy. I'll show you some of those videos here. gives you a good takeoff and then shuts it down. One thing I didn't notice, while it was kind of going crazy, all I had to do was hit auto land and kind of keep it centered up enough to land and, and not hit nothing. And luckily it's very lightweight, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, it, uh, it is fun to fly though. It's, it's a really good, fun, fun one to fly. These are really, we'll have to look it up. I'll give you some real prices, but usually around a hundred bucks or so. Um, not so, not too bad. Um, here's the prop guards, and again, uh, if you've watched in the other videos, you know I'm, I'm very fond of using prop guards. I've got prop guards on the Phantom there. Um, so, I like prop guards. Uh, these will definitely be going on. Um, but this is it though, pretty cool. All right guys, so this model, um, the B2400 HD, um, it does have a, a 650 milliamp hour battery, um, which is considerably a bit higher uh, than some of the other ones uh, that are out there. Uh, some of them around 500 or something like that, uh, but this one is a 650. Uh, these batteries are also fairly cheap uh, through Amazon. You get them for like five or six bucks a piece. So you could have a number of batteries charged up, ready to roll, um, which would be pretty cool. Um, on here, uh, we're gonna plug this battery in and, and it just slides in There's a little little clip here you just push that little clip up with the battery and push it in and there you go the battery's in so there's nothing to that and then you plug up the drone itself and there you go the lights will turn on saying that you've uh, got some power here that's good right now since it's flashing it's searching for the signal of the remote 
Um, so we'll try it out in here and see how it works. We'll flip on the remote. Now the app is the, let's see here, the Sky Viper video app. If you crank that up, put it in the folder here. It'll ask you to turn on your Wi-Fi. Let's do that. All right, Sky Viper, there it is. And we go to the app. We can get a video transmission. There we're going. Now we've got a live view here, it's connecting in. All right, so now the controller is connected to it. Um, here you'll see that the lights are staying on now, so they're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> it does drift a little bit so definitely want to get that figured out so we back you up all right guys so you can see my awesome rug here in the floor that my wife got me for my uh, studio here all right so here is the drone uh, I'll go ahead and press record here. And this says recording 720 uh, directly to your phone. It does have an SD card. I don't have one in there yet, uh, but this is it. And you see there's my camera there. And this is my shop slash studio area here. And there we go. Let's see that. So let's drop this thing down. Let's see where it goes. Let's drop this thing down, and there we go. Now we'll let it take off. Definitely more wide open of a space than inside of a house. It's a little difficult to fly inside the house. Definitely got to keep up to it too, but right now it's trying to drift forward. I'm going to try to trim that up and then see if I can make it do a little better here. Seems to be doing a little better. I'll bring it up a bit here. There we go. You gotta definitely adjust the trim setting. The altitude hold isn't very good. Maybe it's just because it's inside the shop, it's kind of bugging it out. But it keeps going up and down. Bump that up a little bit better here. It seems to be, the controls are very sensitive. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Okay. There you go. <laughs> So uh, I have the sensitivity set down on one here, uh, but it still seems very sensitive. Uh, and it did just attack me right then. So there you go. All right, guys, that is the Sky Viper 2400 HD. Um, it is a blast to fly. It seems to be very rugged, um, and that's probably because it's so lightweight, it really can't get that hurt. Um, and I didn't break this one, which is good, uh, considering it's not mine, it is my dad's, and for one for him to play with, so, um, so that's a good thing. Um, and, and the camera seems to be all right. Um, it does seem a little jumpy at times, um, but it seems to be pretty cool. Um, again, let's, let's flip a video here. So, there you go. So this is the video transmission uh, from the drone, and it is a fairly wide-angle lens, which isn't bad. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, so there you go. All right. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do, please like it, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll come back with some more stuff for you. Right. Thanks.